I'm making my way through 12 days of cast strength Texas whiskey provided by the Crowded Barrel Whiskey Company in Austin, Texas. What does Dave Four have to offer? I'm ready to find out. Let's do this. Welcome to Whiskey Rips. If you're new here, I'm Kevin, and I'm making my way through this box of Texas whiskey, affectionately known as The Jank. Glory be to the Chad. This is provided by the Crowded Barrel Whiskey Company and has uh, cast drink Texas whiskeys from 12 different distilleries. The good people at the Whiskey Tribe in Austin have put this together and delivered it to a lot of people. Uh, which is an amazing achievement. I'm getting ready to pull out bottle on day four, which has been a little challenging because the bottom of the box and the contents of the box are a little bit different. It, they're rotated. So I'm gonna grab day four. I think I've got this down now. If I can find the front of the box. And I think I know what order I'm going in. Oh, now I'm confused again. <laughs> I really thought I had this, wait. Yes, I got the right one. Okay, so got day four. Let me put the jank over here. Thank you, Chad. All righty. Today, cast strength whiskey from Devil's River Whiskey. It's a straight bourbon whiskey. Now, straight bourbon means that we have at least two years of aging in new oak charred, charred? <laughs> new oak charred barrels. And this one is 122.34 proof, 61.17% alcohol by volume. And bourbon, by definition, doesn't have to spend more than seconds in a barrel. Of course, that would be silly if they just left it in there for seconds. So most bourbon companies are making bourbon that has years in a barrel. Not necessarily more than a year. I mean, I've seen some that are three to six months. And when you're looking at a Texas distillery, well, you certainly can get away with a shorter period of time because it darkens up pretty quickly. As we'll find out, let me grab a glass, pour this, and we'll take a look at the color and talk a little bit more about the wonderful people over at the Whiskey Tribe that managed to put this together for all of us. Well, not all of us. I mean, a select few of us that were there when they announced it and could get them. Unfortunately, I got this through Shared Pour and I checked before this recording and they're out of stock. So if you want this whiskey box, you might have to be local in Austin and pick it up directly from the Crowded Barrel. I don't even know if they'll have any there by the time this is out. So check with them. Uh, there's certainly links to uh, both the Whiskey Tribe, the Whiskey Vault. They're both the channels that uh, Rex and Daniel started and the Crowded Barrel Whiskey Company in the description below so you can find out more details and see if you can grab a box. Now, if you've watched any of my other episodes of this, you know that I owe a lot to Rex and Daniel. This channel would not exist if it wasn't for their channels, inspiring me to talk and learn more about whiskey and provide an entertaining way to talk about the various flavors and tastes and what I like. And hopefully you're learning something from this channel. And if you are, Go ahead and give me a like so these videos spread around YouTube a bit more and we can grow the Whiskey Rips community. So let's see what this whiskey has to offer. This is Devil's River Whiskey, straight bourbon whiskey. I've heard of Devil's River. I haven't had a taste of whiskey yet and I already can't talk. I've heard of Devil Devil's River Whiskey, but I've never had any of their spirits, I don't believe, unless it was in a big tasting box and those are all a blur. It does smell like a bourbon. It does have a little bit of a cherry note, definitely the sweetness from the corn, and I can sense that the alcohol level is pretty high. Now, I like cast drink whiskey. You may not be such a fan, but at 61 plus percent alcohol by volume, that's really intense. So it usually isn't the whiskey I go for. I'm, I'm usually back down a little bit from that, but hey, I'm game to try anything, you know? I like the sweet notes, I like the the bourbony finish to all this. Let's see if the flavor matches the nose. There's a lot of heat, which, you know, I mean, you can't get away from that when you package a whiskey at this high a level. Brings a long finish to it. 
and that finish is giving me cinnamon spices, the wood spices. I think a lot of these Texas whiskeys, where you see the color is so dark, there's a lot of aggressive wood spice happening with that alcohol level up to this point. I'm going to go ahead and knock it down a little bit because the ABV is really kind of killing the flavor for me on this whiskey. That knocks the nose down a little bit. I'm actually getting a little bit of a raisin note now. A little nuttiness on the nose. The spice level keeps going up. For me, this is a lot of spice and not a lot of various flavors. I am getting some caramel notes, toffee notes, the more savory notes out of it, but I'm not getting a lot of fruit notes. The, the cherry was really just on the nose for me. Yeah, instead of fruit, I'm getting more vegetal notes on the nose. I'll put a little bit more water in before I say goodbye to this one. All right, there's some more sweetness now. Maybe a little bit of pear on the nose. It's still on the taste. It's mostly spice for me, so I'm not loving this one. If you've ever had the Devil's River Whiskey, uh, any of their bourbons or expressions, I'd love to hear about that in the comments. It's new to me, and maybe uh, it's just this castring variant that's kicking my butt a little bit and kind of blowing past any subtle flavor notes that I would normally get out of a bourbon. I think that's the problem with some bourbons. They're so subtle that when you start ramping up that ABV, you lose all the very nuanced notes of bourbon. And of course, if you're actually getting to taste the jank, if you're going through this box of 12 whiskeys, I'd love to hear about it. Let me know in the comments. And uh, until the next day, tomorrow, take care of yourself. Take care of those people around you. And cheers. high. Not, no, not me. The, the ABV is high. Where's one today?